Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? You're on stage with Earl Bynum. I'm so glad you're tuned in all over the country. I absolutely love you and appreciate you. Thank you for those emails. Continue to email us at onstagewithearlbynum at gmail.com. Don't forget my co-host, the one who walks in her favor weekly, Lucinda Moore, y'all. That's right. That's right. Pray for her. Pray for her family. Uh, they had a death in their family, but we know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So we're excited about that. And we ask that you keep in touch with her on all digital platforms, media platforms, Lucinda Moore One on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. And don't forget about her website because Lucinda, I call her the second, the next Vicky Winans because she sells everything, all right? And she has it for you, whether it be masks, sweatsuits, jumpers, whatever you want, Lucinda has it. And you can keep in touch with Tabora Earl Bynum on Twitter, is Earl Bynum, Instagram, Earl Bynum, Facebook, Earl Bynum Music. Now, I need y'all to go to my new YouTube channel. It's called Earl Bynum. I have a new video there called Safe in His Arms. That's right, from my Billboard charting song, Safe in His Arms. Make sure you go there. Check it out. I want you to do so. But today, it's not about me. It's about Jesus and my guest. Who am I talking about? The one and only Mary Glover, y'all. What's up? <laughs> Hey, Mr. Earl Bynum, God bless you. Bless you. How God are you? God. How are you? I am so thankful, grateful, just, just the whole nine. I'm just like elated that I am a part of this um, recording right now on Musical Soul Food. God bless you. Well, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that yes. you're here. It's so glad. I see your, your, come on, your banners in the back. I'm uh, loving it. I'm loving it now. Come on. There you go. It's time for Jesus. It's time. It's yes, time. yes, it's time. yes. Now tell us, you are, where are you from? Tell us a little about yourself. I'm, I grew up in Lima, Ohio. Okay. And I, then I grew up, okay. And, and from there, I was singing in a choirs, the, the churches, of course, New Morning Star Baptist Church of uh, Reverend Manley is okay. where I grew up at. And then when I came to Cleveland to further my education in nursing, I ended up doing a whole turnaround. I started singing and going to different churches and whatnot. And my pastor here is Reverend David Watts. Okay. And from there, I met my husband. My, my pastor introduced me to my husband, Mr. Willie Glover. And then from there, my husband introduced me to the blind boys. Oh, wow. And so I started traveling with the blind boys. He was the bass player for the blind boys, of course. And then um, from there, we, we did some tours and then came back here to Cleveland. It's just like my life just sparked and went from there. All right. All yes. right. And so you're in Cleveland. And, and I mean, how is it living in Cleveland? Come on. You know what? Cleveland was not my goal to come. It was not my goal to come to Cleveland. Okay. I wanted to go to Nashville with Dr. Bobby Jones. <laughs> <laughs> That was my time. Okay, speaking, <laughs> speaking of Dr. Bobby Jones, you sang with Dr. Bobby Jones. Yes, I sing with him now. Praise God. Wow. And it was a childhood dream for me. Wow. Okay. And to be able to live the dream now as a reality, it's like so amazing because it's like you ask God for things, but you, like Steve Harvey said on one of his uh, shows, he said, you better be careful when you ask God for things because he will, he will turn it around and favor you favorite yes. in your season yes. and so i'm just so thankful and grateful and that, that i stepped out on faith and yeah. i am here today wow it's time for jesus it will always be time for jesus but a lot of people really need to know it's time for him right now Come especially on. in this Come pandemic on. season I yes I yes yes i want to give a big shout out to dr bobby jones because he is a legend he oh my is God. amazing and um my my short little story about Dr. Jones, I had watched him for years. Yes. On, you know, and I was like, you know, you know, we are artists. One day we may yeah. be on Dr. Bob Jones. That's right. But it took me traveling all the way to Europe. Uh, I was in Italy the time he was in Italy on a tour. And the same promotion marketing company brought us both in. But we were on two separate tours. And my, right, right. And my road manager said, hey, you know, uh, Bob, Dr. Bobby Jones, they're an hour from you. You want to go meet him? <laughs> of course. I know that's right. And so they drove us there. Both managers had connected. Dr. Mm. Jones came downstairs. He said, oh, who are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> y'all look like us. <laughs> and I said, I'm Earl Bynum. This is my group. At that time, it was Earl Bynum and As We Are. And, uh, and he was like, do y'all sing? 
I said, yes, sir. He said, sing something. And we sung Total Praise. This is no lie. In the locker. Yeah, After yeah. we finished, he said, y'all need to be on my show. And yes. you not know the next season, we were on his show and God allowed me to go four seasons. And I'm like, grateful. And, and Dr. Jones, when he would introduce me on the show, he said, mm -hmm. this young man should need no introduction because, <laughs> you know, he had to travel all the way to Europe to, Europe to meet me. He met me. <laughs> <laughs> and that sounds just like him, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I, I love, love about him, he is so down to earth. I mean, he is so tangible. He's so kind. He's he, he welcomes every artist. He welcomes everything, everything yeah. that's talking about Jesus. He's a part of it. And that's what I love about him. He embraces all genres of gospel yes all genres of music yeah you know and i love that about him and uh, so i'm thankful to even to even be a part of his his entourage that's of good. the nashville that's super good. choir you know it's just a blessing how god turned things around for you and yeah. you just got to be ready but you also got to prepare because you for the season that you're asking god for you have to be prepared for the season that's so true. even though it may not come when you want it to in god's time it right. will come it will right. come Right. Yeah. And we got to give a shout out to the one and only the bell. Sheila the bell. <laughs> Sheila bell. That's oh my God. And I can't, I never met her, but we connected with each other. So, so great to the point where I feel like I've known her all my life. And so that's my sister. That's my sister. <laughs> great, great, great. Yes. And I love her so much. Now you are clever clever artist i'm gonna tell you why okay uh, every time we talk about conversation you say you keep saying time talking about yes, time yes, so yes, i think yes. that's that's good that's good because yes. the name of your record is it's, it's time. time now it's tell time. us about that record it's time was originally done back in 2011 right okay. around the 9 11 time when 9 11 hit you know it hit us on impact you know nobody of course is ready for stuff like that and uh, it was at that time called Take Time Out for Jesus. The legendary Roscoe Robinson of the Alabama and Mississippi Blind Boys started writing for me years ago. And so from there, we spoke with him last year and he told me, he said, I want you to take that song, Take Time Out for Jesus and do something with it. Wow. Because it's time for Jesus. You know, a lot of people still don't even understand that they're hungry for the word of God and they're seeking for him. But they, if they get in the word of God, then they will find Jesus. And so my husband and I, we started um, thinking about who could we get to produce it, all this other stuff. He said, you know what? You already got your blessings in your hand. And we looked up. I said, let me call Derek Lee. We called Derek Lee. Of course, he's the producer of Dr. Bobby Jones, you know, and everything, BT, Impact Network now. And so uh, Derek, Derek Jones was like, I would be glad to do it. Let's get wow. to work. And so from there on, within three to four months, we had the song now, which is called It's Time. Wow. And so you know, that's how it, it began. It, it's crazy because speaking of Derek Lee, he produced yes. one of my projects. <laughs> Open, <laughs> he produced My Change Has Come, Open My Heart Project. And he was oh, not man. only the vocal producer for my project, he okay. was also the keyboardist for my entire project and the MD. So uh, shout out to the one and only Derek, Derek Lee. Lee. Yes, yes, yes. So look, we are connected too. Come on. Yes, you know Sheila, what? You my Dr. brother, you... Jones, Derek Lee. <laughs> <laughs> the whole nine. So we're all, you know, we all God's people. And that's, that's right. how God wants us to work and, and, and network with each other and love and embrace each other because we can't get through this, this whole thing without supporting and loving one another guys god is love you see what i'm saying so we got to keep moving and, and 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 focus on what would god do if it was you know if he was if he was him in this time right now what would god do and we have to be about our our father's business we got to be about our father's business now if if people that's listening they want to go and find your song how would you encourage them to go look for your song where should they go CD Baby uh, is distributing through its affiliates, of okay. course, Spotify, Apple, iTunes. Um, and then I signed it off with SoundScan, SoundCloud. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, 
Pandora, so, so any the whole night. Okay. All digital platforms, especially right now, should have everything. Matter okay. of fact, I've, I've had my son and everybody just looking. Hey, go to, go to Pandora, see if it's on there. It's on Pandora. We go to Apple. It. <laughs> it's time, Mary. Yes, God. it's time. So I praise God for that. I really do. Now, if someone wants to book you for something, what should they do? They need to call me 216-926-8915. They will be speaking with my husband, who is my manager, uh, and he will make sure that I get to where I need to be. <laughs> All right, put that number again. Put it out there. 216-926-8915. Wow. Well, listen, I want to thank you so much for being on stage with Earl Bynum. I am so excited about you, your gift, what you're offering to the kingdom. I mean, keep pushing because you, I mean, you, you just glow when you talk. And I'm uh, to have the support of your husband and your children is amazing yes it there's is. nothing like family i keep telling people family no. is everything at the end of the day yep. family is everything that's right that's right and i i thank god for you i really do my first time meeting you i've heard so much about you and i'm like oh my god but you know what i'm just i'm ready for the journey and i'm enjoying the ride I'm well, all right enjoying the ride and i thank god and i want to encourage other artists out there that you do not have to make room for your gift your gift will make room for you. Stay rooted and grounded in the word of God and know that in God's time, it will be your time. All right. Well, we're yes. glad and thank you again. And to everybody that's watching, you're on stage with Earl Bynum and my co-host, the one and only Lucinda Moore. We have Mary Glover, you Praise God. Talking about it's time. So it's know time that it's time. Time, yes. your blessing, your favor, your grace, your yes. peace, your everything. It is time. Stay yes. tuned for more on stage with Earl Bynum. Keep it locked where it's hot. We are it for you today. Praise God.